Hello everyone, my name is Emma. Welcome to my video course Piano Well. This is lesson number two. And um, for those of you who just joining my class, please go to my website artofpianoteknik.com and um, download this training book. You can download it for free as well as my other books because in this lesson we're working with my training book. Um, for the rest of you who already started the course, uh, please proceed to the page number eight. Yeah, eight. And uh, today's lesson topic is position change. Position change has actually nothing to do with timbral ear, it's just a simple technique to improve your playing. Um, playing in one position means that you don't shift your hand while playing. As soon as there comes first finger or some kind of leap, uh, that means there's a new position. For example, in scales, um, this is one position. As soon as you have first finger, Position, another one, another one. In arpeggios, one position, second position, third position. Well, I'm sure most of you know this. <laughs> so, in position change, we prepare a new position by moving our elbow. Yes, by moving elbow. Sometimes teachers suggest to move the whole arm for the new position right before playing it. They claim it somehow would increase speed and accuracy in playing. But it doesn't really work because if you move the whole arm right away, uh, that, that will not bring any confidence because all the movements will be still jerky and uncomfortable. So what we need to do to be able to make position, change position easy and 100% accurate, we need to move elbow first and then let elbow lead the rest of the arm. So, for example, okay, for example, in scales, we take one of the last notes of current position. I prefer second finger. So, this is one position, another position. So, I'm choosing D. On D, I move my elbow right. And then the rest of the hand, keeping the same shape of wrist, just follows elbow. So move elbow here, move elbow here, move elbow here, move elbow there. Um, so if you do not do this, that will bring stiffness to your hand even though you may just imagine every note 100% and just make all the right movements in your hand with your wrist. And the energy will stop flowing and that will affect your imagination. It will, that will affect how you start imagining sounds and that will bring tension to your head. So what I'm saying is that even though position change is a very simple technique, that's a very important element in the whole system because it holds everything together. Um, I guess this is it. Do you need any more explanation about position change? That could be very, should be very short and simple lesson. So let's go to the assignment. Let's go to the book. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Page number 
eight lesson two position change. Again, we have several sections here. I already explained in previous lesson uh, what all the section means. So I'm not going to repeat myself. I'm also not going to repeat myself here about how to play, how to perform your conceived idea. Please, if you have any questions, go back to lesson number one, timber with movement, and watch it. Watch second part if you're interested about performance one. So I'm going to be very quickly here, all right? Okay, let's read. Sing and play an interval with movement to the right. Right hand we're going to play again in this uh, two-line octave. Please pay attention that it says sing and play an interval with second finger. Uh, that means we, we do not start playing interval with second finger and then using third finger. We're playing with only second finger because we're going to uh, practice here how to change position. So we're playing CD, basically, okay? Uh, so how to do sing an interval with movement. This is, that will be something new here. Please, when you sing, sing both notes to the right, as we start singing in the previous lesson. Um, but please let's start singing it with um, kind of glissando effect. Gradually, when one note gradually um, flows into another one. Again, I'm, going, I'm not going into details, but it's important for next lesson intonation. We will prepare our singing, prepare our ear for next lesson. So, one more time, when we sing interval, we sing it with glissando. Next step, uh, sing and play an interval with movement. Mm, Alright, in the reminder, next page 9, Again, you can see um, I repeated some of the uh, sentences here, but I underlined the new one and the important one. So make a full-fledged wrist movement before an elbow movement. Uh, that's very important. I will show you here. Be sure that you play notes first, then you move your wrist, then you move your elbow to the new position. If you move elbow again, without moving wrist first, elbow will start to replace wrist movement and now we all know why it's wrong. So play note, move wrist, move elbow. Again, don't be afraid to make full-fledged movement of elbow, full-fledged movement of wrist. When you play in the fast tempo, when you master this technique, all the movements will be absolutely natural, nobody will even guess what you're doing, but you will know exactly what you're doing. Uh, don't raise your wrist while changing position. This is another just another time I just remind you, do not make a natural curve here because as I told you before that would stop your free energy here and the energy will stuck here and uh, you cannot pass way to the instrument while playing. So please make sure that your wrist is on the same level. And as always, don't strain your arm and the wrist maintain freedom in them. Keep your wrist, keep your hand loose. About, about relaxing hand again, um, I should probably say that in the previous lesson. Uh, you cannot feel your fingertips, you cannot start developing your fingertips until you relax your hand because somehow if you strain your hand this energy that creates sound in your mind it will stuck here and it will not pass to fingertips mm. so please make sure your hand always relax so energy goes to your fingertips that's it um, yeah, the rest of reminders we already um, we already know, so no need to explain. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna just show you very quickly again how to um, work with this table. Right hand, let's go sing an interval with movement. 
three C horizontally, of course, and uh, move together, sing and play an interval with movement. You can repeat as many times as it takes to feel comfortable. The last tip, um, play an interval while imagining it in the sounding of your voice. You can imagine sound and we express it in the correct way. Uh, let's go to left hand. both hands. Do not forget on the bottom part of reminder, um, again the instruction to remind you that um, even here, imagine, start imagining notes first in succession. I tuned this piano so many times, but still it, <laughs> it feels like this. <laughs> it's a good piano, it's a Yamaha. <laughs> I think something wrong with the tuner. Okay. Make sure that you imagine both notes evenly. you going to, with the same second finger you play bigger interval you play third and fourth till octave the same with left hand and so basically then you use first fingers and do the same exercise then you're going to assignment two on page 10 and do absolutely the same uh, steps with movement to the left so that would be Keep anything. I'm just trying to make it quickly. <laughs> uh, the last page, number 11, assignment number 3, um, you have a um, sequence of notes here. I will show in the left hand. Before we practice moving elbow in the same direction with the wrist, when the wrist goes right, elbow go went right, right? So here, C, D, C, you're gonna play C to the left, D to the right, C to the left. Because of the rule, um, how to find the direction of uh, sound, if the note lower than previous note, the movement will, would be to the left. If the note higher than previous note, uh, the movement is, um, the movement, the movement is to the right. I'm losing my English, okay. So let's go. Wrist to the right, elbow to the left. Wrist to the... Sorry. <laughs> Wrist to the left, elbow to the right. Wrist to the right, elbow to the left. And back. So this is how it looks like. You sing note, you sing and play, you imagine note uh, and play it. And then there is a sequence here. You sing. Take a breath. Don't forget. 
get all the time to sing straight horizontally. Then you do the same as right hand, then you do the same as both hands. That's it. So that was quickly, <laughs> easy. Um, so please make uh, this exercise and I will talk to you in my next lesson. Next lesson will be about intonation and weight. Okay, have a lovely day and call your family. <laughs> call your family, call your parents and tell them that you love them. Alright, bye.